Well, I thought I would do um, a uh, short video on uh, a power feed that I installed. I used a windshield wiper uh, motor. It's, of course, it's got a heavy-duty reduction um, a gears in there to drive windshield wipers so works actually better than I thought um, I used the original end cap and uh, figured out how to get her done made a coupling and some other things uh, the speed control this was the interesting part it was uh, you can see it in there it's in the middle of this box. It's pretty crammed. And I'm still waiting for my the actual power supply. I'm using a uh, um, a car battery charger. It's a very wide uh, uh, voltage um, that you can use from like 6 to 30 volts. So I've got a 20 volt 8 amp laptop power supply coming, which was the best, cheapest, smallest option for this. So once that, um, you know, uh, gets here, I'll be able to close this up and get rid of this this stuff. But here's the here's the control for the speed, and this is for the direction and. Uh, well, let's um, let's see if we can get something. Here we go. Yeah, I can get this to creep real, real slow. Um, real slow. That's about as slow as it'll go before it it may you know want to stop like right there that's barely creeping but when you're machining you don't want it to stop so you want it to go this in this direction that's about as good as it's going to get um, but and of course I can turn it all the way up this is 12 volts feeding this it's quiet it runs quite quiet so if I need to advance or what have you I can you know turn it up and of course go in the other direction and uh, this is definitely a really nice feature to have a power feed um, this little mill will do a lot of work I uh, machined the top slide for the Hendy project and it came out real nice so I just didn't take it off yet as you can see it's it's uh, painted and we're getting some of that stuff done but it's been cold so some of the other things didn't come out as nice as I would have liked them. So I'm going to let it warm up a little bit here in um, northwest Indiana. And, uh, you know, go from there and continue with this project. I mean, I've got some of this stuff, you know, most of the stuff stripped. Um, then, you know, i got to take... I got to take the, uh, uh, I'm going to take the bed as it stands. It's on caster, it's on a, it's on dollies. So I'll be able to take a pinch um, bar and wheel it outside. Easy off, power wash, uh, paint strip, and then blow it off and then bring it back in here and, and, um, you know, clean it up, paint it, and then put start putting the rest of it back together. Today is 
a nice day. It's uh, 60, 60 something degrees. Here's the headstock stripped. It's pretty, pretty much stripped. It's it's ready for paint, and uh, just don't want to paint nothing because I've had some issues where giving this a second coat, the paint wasn't totally, totally dry, and then it kind of lifts. So I'm gonna let this stuff sit, and I hope it, you know, dries. But we're supposed to get more rain. These are the, the things that I, you know, had paint as part of the top slide and the apron and all of that. So, um, and here's the the uh, um, the saddle. Everything was stripped. This hasn't had any paint or anything like that. But I got most of it really clean and. Um, you know, paint, more paint, that's what, uh, I need to do, so, but, um, yeah, I, I really like this, uh, this power feed here. It's nice and quiet, it's got plenty of torque, plenty. I guarantee you won't be able to hold this table. <laughs> Uh, plenty, plenty of torque. I think it's a viable option for people that have these little mills that want to not convert it to CNC. Um, you can buy the the um, um, the the speed controller. You can get on eBay for like thirteen or fourteen dollars. It's a five amp. Um, it's adequate. It does the job for this windshield wiper motor setup. And uh, I fit it in here. That was like a big deal. I mean, it's really tight. Don't like it so tight, but I didn't want it have another box, you know, and all this crap. It'll go. It will definitely um, be a tight fit, and I hope that this heat sink will be adequate enough and there'll be enough air in there to uh, you know to so keep it cool so it doesn't uh, so I don't have any problems but yeah I'm real happy I can get I can do some machining on the mill and actually have a nice power feed Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, I can bring it down to a creep. It's, uh, works good. <laughs> so I'm happy. All right. Until next time. Thanks for watching.